I seem to recall that I did say to Peter, have you any idea what kind of noise happens when somebody's stabbed in the back? And I said, well, could I do? It's <laughs> because the breath's driven out of your body. Welcome to War Thunder Naval. I am Commander Tyriel, and this is D-79 HMS Cadence, a battle-class destroyer laid down in the Scottish shipyard of Fairfield Shipbuilding and Engineering Company in 1944, but commissioned after the end of the war in April 1946. The ship was assigned to the home fleet and participated in diplomatic cruises, exercises, and also in the Coronation Review of 1953. The battle class were a class of destroyers of the British Royal Navy and Royal Australian Navy, named after the naval and other battles fought by British and Commonwealth forces. Built in three groups, the first group was ordered under the 1942 Naval Estimates. A modified second and third group, together with two ships of an extended design, were planned for 1943 and 1944. Most of these ships were cancelled when it became apparent that the war was being won and the ships would not be required. Two ships were ordered for the Royal Australian Navy, were not cancelled, and were subsequently completed in Australia. Currently in game, there are three iterations of the battle, with HMS Armada of 1942 standard, and HMAS Tobruk and HMS Cadence of 1943 standard. The first years of World War II had shown that the British destroyers were ill-equipped to deal with concentrated air attacks, and the Royal Navy suffered heavy losses as a result. In 1941, urgent consideration of the problem led to naval staff requirement for a new class of large fleet destroyer with a high-angle twin guns and a high-angle control system. It was decided that the main armament would be set forward in a super-firing configuration for all guns to engage one target. Arcs of fire were to be increased by setting the bridge further after than normal. A new feature was the first use of stabilizers in a destroyer, allowing a steady gun platform for AA gunnery. With these parameters accepted, a sketch design was approved in autumn of 1941 and orders for 16 ships were planned under the 1942 program. Considerably larger than the standard fleet destroyer, these ships were seen as a replacement for the tribal class, which had already suffered major losses. With a length of 379 feet or 116 meters, they were 2 feet longer than the tribals and with a beam of 40 feet 3 inches or 12.2 meters, they were just over three feet wider. It was decided to abandon the usual alphabetical naming of the destroyer flotillas and name these ships after famous land and sea battles. Thus, the ships became known as the 1942 Battle Class. The placing of orders did not stop design work, but the plans were far too advanced for any large changes. Although some changes were made to the armament with AA defense in mind, this change sought to standardize the 4.5 inch gun for the main armament rather than the 4.7 that was the usual and only effective against surface targets. The four 4.5 inch guns fitted into two Mark IV turrets were capable of high angle fire against aircraft and were controlled from a director control tower fitted with a radar. Another alteration made whilst building was the removal of the four inch gun on the gun deck abaft the tunnel. Experience in the Pacific against the Japanese pointed to the limited usefulness of the four inch gun only the first ships completed, such as HMS Amada, were fit. In all other ships, the gun was replaced by 40mm mounts, giving the battle the heaviest light AA armament of any British destroyer, and heavier than that carried in many cruisers at the time. With all vessels eventually having the 4-inch mount removed completely. All ships were completed with a lattice foremast instead of the pole mast, as shown in the original plans enabling the ships to carry the latest radar and various IFF transponders and receivers on the foremast. A typical radar fit when built was the Type 293 target indicator at the masthead and a radar Type 291 air warning on the main mast with twin nacelle radars Type 275 fire controls on the Mark IV director. You ought to see me with the 357 Magnum. <laughs> the Battle D-79 is similar to her sister ship in the British tech tree, Battle D-37. Cadence has a slightly different design, minus a funnel cowling and Mark IV turrets, but remain functionally the same, with a slightly more impressive secondary battery. The Battle is a fantastic fast assault ship, thanks to its forward-mounted main battery. Use the excellent rate of fire and turret traverse to push the enemy constantly, keeping a small profile to reduce any incoming damage. 
don't be afraid to bully PT boats as well with the battle's excellent turret traverse and colossal number of 40mm guns. At all ranges, your torpedoes can be effective thanks to their good damage and excellent range. You have a large crew size for a destroyer and decent armour protection where it matters, so don't be afraid to weather some fire before retreating. If you so feel inclined, use the opportunity to hide the bulk of your ship and keep your front turrets pointed outwards to harass oncoming enemies. The battle is a great destroyer, but it is not a cruiser, and it should not fight them. The small calibre of its shells means even the SAP rounds are lethargic against cruisers, and cruiser guns will happily negate your existence, so avoid them at all cost. Unless you can level some torpedoes into them, you will not stand a chance. The battle has great torpedoes, but built with terrible launchers. They have an extremely slow traverse and limited fire arcs. The forward launcher is only able to fire in a rear aspect and vice versa. Only use the torpedoes if you can avoid enemy fire or if the enemy is already in your firing arc. Turning your ship in order to make use of the torpedoes negates your narrow profile advantage and makes you an easy target. To counter this, consider launching your spread early and riding the torpedoes into the attack zone, using them like a shield, which I'll show you a little bit later. Sitting at rank 3, battle rating 4.7, the Cadence is a premium British Blue Water ship, one of three prize vehicles available from this season's Armoured Elephant Battle Pass. Being the third battle class now added to the Brits, the most notable thing about her when compared to her sisters is the insanely high Silver Lion's earning modifier. The main pros of the battle class are a high rate of fire with the main battery guns with 20 rounds per minute sustained with no secondary stage ammo system, meaning that no slowdowns will happen once the ready racks are empty. It has an efficient AA or auxiliary armament of four, multiple 40mm guns, which can make short work of both aircraft, patrol boats, and heavily damaging destroyers in close range when using AP rounds. Decent armour protection over ammo storage and main guns, which is more than many destroyers get, with the exception of American destroyers. Very fast turret traverse can be a nasty surprise for enemy ships that try to flank you, and make the guns very effective against aircraft if used in that role. Finally onto the cons. The main guns are a small calibre for main shells and it makes fighting larger ships completely futile. Torpedo launchers have an extremely poor traverse and fire arcs, making them difficult to use safely or effectively. The turrets are big flat targets, meaning they get knocked out easily by direct hits. And any fires that hit the bridge or the main turrets render you effectively blind. Overall, the battle class is fun, and if you take a whole lineup of them, they can be extremely effective. However, you are prone to dying extremely easily. Six inch guns and above are deadly to you, and any gun that you don't know firing at you is equally deadly, as it doesn't allow you to angle your armor in time. The battle class is the sort of ship that you must systematically destroy one enemy at a time to maximize on your defenses. Here's an example of a turret and bridge fire absolutely ruining my day. But who wants to live forever? As I mentioned before, here is a tip that you can use when running slow torpedoes. When fitted with torpedo mode, a battle class's torpedoes run one kilometer an hour slower than the ship's speed. And this allows you to do something a little bit unique over a long distance. Fire your torpedoes early on, I like to only shoot half of them, and then just follow them. It can be quite a leisurely experience actually. Movies, songs, Stay side by side with them, and follow them into the attack zone. This only works when the torpedo speed roughly matches your ship speed. What a glorious day to spend away, fly and as you enter the zone, Move into the center of your spread and try and herd enemies either into yourself or around you. Dude, why is this guy always beating everybody up? If done correctly, this will push ships either side of you for your allies to take out, and anyone not smart enough or fast enough will go down. Until the next transmission, Commander Tyrael, out. He proceeded to sort of talk about some very clandestine part of World War II. He seemed to have expert knowledge 
of exactly the sort of noise that they make and so I just sort of didn't push the subject any further. I just...